Hi, this is Luke from MGN. Today we're gonna to look at Doc Deity. What is it? It's a new strategic RPG that's coming out this spring. You wanna find out more about Doc Deity? Stick with me, we're gonna go through it right now. If you're a huge fan of the first few Fire Emblem games that came to the West, and like me, spent many an hour chasing the light around with your Game Boy Advance, well, Dark Deity is here for you. It's a return to those golden days of strategic RPG games. It's got beautiful thematic scenes and a retro pixel feel for the strategic map elements of the game. Dark Deity releases sometime this spring, um, and it's brought to the world by its developer Sword and Axe LLC, and through its publisher, Freedom Games. The game is available to look at right now, um, and you can add it to your Steam wishlist if you want to check out the game, have a look on Steam, some video, screenshots, all that good stuff. Uh, and if you follow it with your wish list, you get an email when the game drops. So check it out it's on Steam. What's drawn my attention specifically is the depth of the upgrade system and the hankering for a solid Fire Emblem style game that is far and away from the latest release in Three Houses. Not to say the Three Houses doesn't have its own merit, but it's a far cry from things like Sacred Stones Fire Emblem games. So if Sacred Stones and those similar to that are something that you're a fan of more than the recent releases, well here's your answer, it's Dark Deity. Not only does the game return to the roots of strategic RPG origins, it preserves the art style as well, but it also ensures that the game is given a modern twist and kept up with the developments since those golden age. Since those golden times rather. We're getting things that add depth to the genre in Dark Deity. The upgrade system, each character can be built into a really unique unit, specialized with specific upgrades and stats. It's got a huge cast, lots and lots of playable characters that actually have their own identity and depth. Um, and don't just feel like they've been copied and pasted with different haircuts. Not just anime copy and paste with different colored hair, different spiky hair. They're actually individual characters who have personalities. Then there's 54 classes. That's a lot of classes. No ridiculous gender locking like some game that we won't mention that also has very limited class pathways for characters. Like, there's just a lot of reasons that lovers of the genre will enjoy Dark Deity when it launches. It's absolutely worth checking out, even if you're not a fan of these type of games. Looks like it's going to be the benchmark for gamers that have the sort of old school Fire Emblem games close to their heart. Or even if you enjoy pixelated strategic RPGs that are a bit more modern like Wargroove, then Dark Deity should make your wish list. Anyway, we're looking forward to launch, so keep your eye out on mgn.gg blog and our YouTube for more news about the upcoming release of Dark Deity. We'll be releasing guides, how-to videos, reviews, all the good stuff that you love for Dark Deity as soon as it drops, so keep your eyes peeled. Thanks for listening.